What was that? Oh my gosh, heavens. You okay? day happy day and it is a happy day it's a beautiful day today oh look at this weather look at the sky Whew, what a day <laughs> well it's a nice breezy day I don't know why we're supposed to get like a rain front coming in the next couple of days but um yeah I just this is Friday and welcome to my channel Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses well Summerfield Draft Horses but yeah, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> you guys have been around long enough to know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the big guys. Draft horses. That's a Percheron. And out there, there's two smaller Percherons. They're not mine. But they're out there. <laughs> and there's a huge, look, giant thing of hay out there. So, uh, yeah, we had um, a special delivery this afternoon. Um, a friend of ours, who we borrow his trailer all the time, we owe him so much. Oh gosh, I am so thankful to have him as our neighbor. Um, Cause we don't have a tractor and he's done a lot of work for us and we don't, I sold my trailer like three years ago. So I've been borrowing his trailer when he never needs to go to the vet or we have to transport or something like that. But um, thank your neighbors. You know, if you have neighbors that are very kind and generous like that, do something extra special to them. So what are we gonna talk about today? I don't know, maybe Friday. <laughs> maybe Friday. He's doing really good, you guys. He's gone from a uh, skinny mini, 1100 pound horse to I think he was like 1700 the last I checked. So he's getting there and uh, yeah, he's just looking awesome. So good news, um, we shall be... What was that? Oh my gosh, heavens. You okay? You all right? That wasn't scary, you did it. All by yourself. I know, you're tripping. You gotta pick your feet up. There you go. That was scary, huh? <laughs> He's such a funny guy. I don't like feeding here in, in front of the barn because it, it attracts flies because of the food that they leave. But um, when I brought the food out, he didn't want to come out of the barn. So I was like, all right, well, that's where you go to eat. So where was I? Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so we're gonna have a free pasture in June. So it's gonna set, that side over there. It's gonna set, we're gonna irrigate it, we're gonna reseed it, we're gonna do all sorts of fun stuff. Well, maybe not reseed it because it's got a lot of seed. We seeded it earlier. But um, we're going to let it sit, let it rest, let it grow. And we might, might buy a donkey. We might borrow a donkey. But I'm thinking we're going to just buy one. I've, I've always wanted a donkey. And my, my neighbor has one, which you guys might have seen him. His name is Donkey. When we had Jarvis, after Darcy died last year, we brought Jar Jarvis over to our friend's house and they had met Baldy and everything. So Jarvis stayed with them and Donkey for a week and a half uh, while we bought him, because we bought him. Our gotcha day is next week. Um, Darcy died yesterday, one year ago. And um, yeah, so if, if you wanna know what colic looks like, it's awful. Go through my videos from last year and I think it says, or you can like search Darcy colic. Um, and it's, it's pretty awful, but, um, he's doing great. Yeah. Hi. You going to check in with me? Hello. <laughs> he says, hello. Just don't put anything on my head. How are you? <laughs> Hi. You going to check in? Oh, thank you. Oh, such a good boy. <laughs> so it's almost been a year since we got him and, um, see you later.
So, uh, let me see. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes, free pasture in June. So, yeah, um, we're gonna start doing that again. So I am super, super, super psyched because this, we always have really good pasture in the middle of summer. And right now, this whole pasture only has him on it and it's not doing great, but it will do great later. It's been a really dry, dry spring. So it hasn't really grown up, but we're gonna get a couple of days of rain. That should kind of give it a little bit of a boost. And then um, the white ones, they're leaving next week, early next week. So they might even be moved off this weekend. I don't know, probably not. They probably won't be moved off until like Wednesday because that's when they're supposed to move out. They're supposed to move out on the first. So um, yeah, we'll let that rest. We're gonna, the plans are to start rescuing again, to get a companion for him for a little while. And I think probably at the same time while we're rescuing and fostering and stuff like that, we'll get, we'll get our own personal riding horse and it's gonna be for, for, for husband. So we're looking for a, a bigger horse, probably 17-2, another black horse like him, another black Percheron, gelding, probably about 15 years old, it's fine. Um, older, the better, is fine. Obviously not like dead old, but you know what I mean. Um, Friday was 15 when we bought him is 15 so he's probably 15 16 now but um and then um yeah so that's that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be really exciting to start shopping again i'm super super stoked to go horse shopping again um so we should have that happen very very soon so um one thing i really would like to do is i had buried darcy's front legs because i wanted to see his ring bone really bad and i wanted to donate them to Davie County Large Animal Hospital as a, um, a tool so they could show other people what ring bone really looks like, really bad ring bone, because I noticed they didn't have a skeleton of one. So that's one thing. Um, he's in the backyard, so uh, let's go check it out, I think. If it's really gross, then I'll let you know. So stick around. Thank you for helping. You're a good boy. Were you a good boy helping? Yeah. So this is where Darcy was buried for a year and uh, that's what's left of him. So let's go check it out, huh? Shall we go check it out? Yeah. So good morning, good morning. It is the next day. Darcy was there and now he's right here. So uh, on my Facebook page, I've been doing a little highlight of him during the week to highlight his pictures. Like my personal Facebook page, not Summer, not Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses, but um, for you guys that are on Facebook, I'll be putting something up for you. Um, but in here is proof, aside from the x-rays that we had, Um, of how much pain a horse can be in and discomfort um, and do everything that you're asking it to do. Their hearts are huge and their pain tolerance is immense. So um, there you go. I'll show you. Let me turn around the camera. So I figure I'd do this real quick before I went to work. It's Friday. Yes, it's, it's dress down day and I get my little horsey socks my little horsey socks <laughs> at least they're not my yellow ones <laughs> so okay um i'm gonna do this and then i have got to wash my hands and sanitize them because you really probably shouldn't touch these without gloves because there's a ton a ton a ton of bacteria in here so these are his front feet pretty much from this part that part all the way up to that part <laughs> the middle so this is um P1, P2 is down there, P3 is here. And then of course all the little bones and everything else that go with it. So um, this, this is P1. And this looks really good. These, even these little, um, I forget what they're called, pin bones or something. I'll have to double check. 
get out of here, Snowy. She's very interested. She's like, oh, you got bones for me? No, I don't. So even these, these are really intact. I haven't studied them yet. I just kind of took them out of the ground that was like on the other side of that rose bush. Cause that rose bush, they were feeding this rose bush. So he was on the other side of that rose bush. Um, this is the other one. So I've got to clean these up. These are just pulled out of the dirt. Get out of here, Snowy. Go on, get, 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 go on. <laughs> oh, crazy. So what I wanted to show you mostly, these are his, his hooves, his front feet, and they're pretty awful. But this is the cannon bone, how it sits inside this, well, this one's kind of crooked. It sits more like that. <laughs> it sits like that. But this is um, one side of the cannon bone. And then this is how this one sat inside it. So this is a hoof capsule. That's the hoof capsule. It's pretty awful, huh? And you can see how that's kind of the shape. And let me put this one over here. Trust me, it took a lot of guts to do this. Okay, so this is the other one. This was his um, right side. So that's that's that one. And then in here, the, the cannon bone hadn't come out yet. So it kinda, I wanna say it sat kinda crooked in there. There, that's how it sat. Sounds like the roosters are awake. So look how it sat inside there. It's kinda weird, kinda like crooked but you can also see how his foot was crooked. You see how that is, how it directly translates? The cannon bone is stitched to this side, so he's putting more weight on this side, which allows the side to grow out. So this, this one was just terrible looking. If I can get it back out. Come on. Now look at this one. Look at the shape. Look at that big divot. That's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be kind of smooth. This is probably the better of the two. Look how small it is. Smaller. It's got that big divot on the front of it. It's got all of these awful protrusions on the sides. This is bone. This is not a good cannon bone. Coffin bone, sorry. So I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna put this one back in here. Don't you touch, it's not for you. That way I know which one came from which foot. And then I'm not gonna really touch a lot of this stuff because I've really gotta do this, but um, that's how that goes. These, these are the ones that sit on top of here. They sit in here these there I forget what they're called so I'm gonna do some research and read and get the names of all of these bones for you but um these kind of sit kind of like like that but look at that that one's broke like literally broken that's not right that's not right at all so anyway but this is what I wanted to show you this is what ring bone looks like this is P1, P2, P3. And P2 is in two separate pieces, kind of like. This is a joint here. This one is fused together. Look at all of this is calcified bone. These two pieces are separate. That's together. So I'm going to clean these up um, tomorrow or later on today when I get home from work because. It's almost 6.30 and I have got to jet at 6.30. So I am going to put all of this back in here. I'm going to do a little bit of research on the exact technical names of all of these, including these. I forget what these darn bones are called. I forget. But sometimes they come apart and they come off and these are, these are together. But um, so there he is. Um, 
<laughs> I gotta wash my hands before I even touch my coffee cup again. Because, uh, like I said, bacteria, lots of bacteria. And I'm gonna clean them up and I'll make another video over the weekend. Uh, probably by Saturday. Clean those up tonight, maybe. Yeah, I'm really kind of curious to do that. So we'll, we'll clean Darcy up. And, um, yeah. So if you have a horse, love your horse. Give him a good treat today. And um, that's why x-rays are so important on feet to make sure. Because when they say no foot, no horse, it's true. So you guys have a great day. <laughs> Husband just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Summerfield Farm and the big guys, <laughs> the draft horses.